I guess so today's video I'm really glad you enjoyed my previous predator video so I thought today all we could do is go through another uh, that is pretty much infamous from this investigation what is actually his name <laughs> because I just know him as like the mailman predator oh John Dupay that's it he's exactly what you think of when you think of a predator the way he leers but immediately what you think of. So let's have a look at what Ju John DePay was before. John DePay is a su suspected predator. I don't see how he can be suspected when he was committed of the crime, but maybe when this was written. Okay, I don't think we have anything really prior to the Sting investigation. Sometimes we have a little bit of a backstory with some of these people. So let's just get straight into the Sting operation then. Why is this video 13 minutes long, but the Jeff Soka one was 20? Is that just because it took forever for the decoy to be saved from talking to these creeps? It's a rainy night in Connecticut, and this 40-year-old guy- Another 40-year-old. <sighs> Why are you talking to someone who's like 13? Thinks he's going to cuddle in bed. Even that's really creepy, just saying that he wants to cuddle in bed. We're working with the Fairfield, Connecticut police and the online predator watchdog group Tetrad Core. They post profiles on apps like Whisper using innocuous pictures of actual underage girls. Do you not think that's kind of creepy that they've got consent from actual underage teens to use on predators' websites? I don't know what Whisper is, but I assume that Whisper is like an app that teens use or something. Like I remember when I was a kid, there used to be like chat rooms. You used to be able to go to different chat rooms on different websites related to whichever topic you wanted to talk about. Because I remember, was it him or something like that? I can't remember. Obviously, predators use chat rooms and things like that to try and prey on underage people. So. But it's just weird. They use underage teens' actual photos. Dupay contacts not one, but two of our decoys. One we'll call Brittany and the other Bailey. So he didn't just do this once, he's done this twice. He's messaged an underage person, two different underage people. So he had full intention. This wasn't just a, oh, well, you know, I was lonely. Well, if you were lonely, how are you talking to two underage people and not just one? Because one surely should have been enough anyway. This phone call will creep you out. I'm like preparing myself for the phone call because it is really, really creepy. Hello. Hey, you. Hey, baby. Oh, can you imagine him actually saying that to a 13 year old? Yeesh. The text messages he sends are even more disturbing. He calls the youngster Baby. Dupay likes to be called Boo. Hey, Boo. I'm all fresh from the shower. Hmm. I wish I smell your body, baby. Baby. <laughs> He wants to smell a 13 year old's body. I don't know how police investigators who have to talk to these people stay at all calm and don't physically wretch. Because I'm starting to feel nauseous. Baby, I think it's going to be amazing for me and you when our bodies are touching and I'm inside you and we're kissing. OMG. He's talking about being inside a 13 year old. A 40 year old man is talking about being inside a 13 year old. And that he's excited about that. Online, Dupay uses fake names like John Santoro. Yeah, they'll never figure that out. He claims he's 30, but he's actually 40. Being 30 and talking to a 13 year old makes it no better. If you are as appalled and feeling nauseous like me, you'll love the end of this, so just, just wait. He calls Bailey from his cell phone. Hello. Hey, boo. Where are you? I'm outside. God, the. I'm outside. It sounds so... Did you ever watch that movie, When a Stranger Calls, where there was that babysitter who was at this huge house and was getting these really creepy calls? I don't know, for some reason, like that, I'm outside, reminds me of that. More than a dozen hidden cameras throughout the Sting House capture his every move. Our fence cam captures him going to the door with a bag of gifts. Our decoy is a 19-year-old theater student who could easily pass for 13. She takes him inside where our kitchen cam records the conversation and my confrontation. What did you bring? Presents. What do you got? Show me. It's how he just starts getting so close to it. That sinister music. Why was that sinister music not on every single predator because just because he looks like a fucking predator doesn't mean none of the others were just as fucking creepy nice. she is so 
fucking creeped out by him. I'm going to screenshot her face at the moment. Her face looks like, please don't fucking come any closer to me. What kind is it? Thank you. She asked for snacks and he's more than happy to oblige. So undeniably fucking creepy. He looks like a fucking serial killer. He looks around, escapes that she could dart to or something. I don't know, like, it's just giving me not just predator creeps, but like serial killer creeps. But I'm not saying he is one. I can't remember if I've said this before. When you're a woman especially, and you go on dates like I've had two in the past, you have to listen to your gut. If you feel like you're getting any sort of creep factor from this person, walk away. Doesn't matter how suave they are or good looking they are or how much money they have, it doesn't matter. Trust your gut. Bag of chips, a caramel covered chocolate bar. Ooh, caramel covered chocolate bar. I thought we just brought in dark chocolate. Car who the fuck has a caramel covered chocolate bar? I don't know why I'm so intrigued by that. I think it's just because I'm hungry. It's so nice to finally see you. This, What's up? this is crazy. Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm really nervous. Why? I don't I've never done this. Have you? No. Nope. He says as he's got another fucking girl on his phone. So what do you want to do? A hug? Uh, I don't know. They all want to go in for the fucking hugs. Jeff wanted to go in for the hug. Now John Dupay wants to go in for the fucking hug. When you're of age, it's not too bad. But a 40 year old asking a 13 year old for a hug. There's just something so fucking inappropriate. I mean, they're all, I know they're all fucking creepy. Oh. I don't think he liked being called Boo. Just watch his reaction. See if I run that store out of there from the Look at his face! He's so annoyed! No, right there, please have a seat. Right there. Set the phone down, please. They're so compliant. <laughs> Look how, like, straight up. When he was with her, he was sort of hunched over and trying to appear smaller, maybe because she was younger. Um, again, that's like a manipulation tactic from predators. Whereas with Hanson, because he's an intimidating figure and he's got him sat down so at a completely different height level, he's immediately sat up. The body language is so different. It's interesting how the body language just immediately changed. What is your plan here tonight? Just hang out, watch football? Hang out and watch football with whom? With her. Who's her? I'm sorry. How do you just so naturally, like all of them, just so naturally, oh, just hang out. Just hang out with a 13 year old. Just, oh, we were just gonna hang out. As if that's even any little bit normal. At their house with no parents around. They're not babysitting. He wanted to come over to be inside this girl and kiss her. Like, oh, just hang out. Oh, I'm just gonna hang out. With Billy. And do you know how old Bailey is? The fucking orange tone on that camera kills me. Cinnamon Toast Ken pointed it out, and I have not been able to unsee it. She's 14. 14? Mm hmm. She told you she's 13. Not that that matters. Mm hmm. The fact that Jeff was going so hard about, well, she said she was 14. She's 14. She said she was, I don't know why you keep saying she was 13. Yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> 13, 14. 15. Doesn't matter. All disgusting. All scummy. Just gross. How old are you? Too old! And why would you at 30 think it would be okay to hang out with a 13-year-old girl home alone? My thoughts exactly. I mean, we just hit it off, friends. You just hit it off with a 13-year-old? What the fuck do you have to talk about? School? I'm gonna talk about work. Parents can't talk to their kids about work and then give a shit. What the fuck did you hit it off with? This is why, I want, in some ways, I wanted to see the chat. But also, I really don't want to see the chat because just him saying that he wanted to be on side of her was enough to make me want to be sick. You hit it off with a 13-year-old girl. Just, we were just talking. Just talking. Well, now you're here. This is more than talk. And talk can get you put in jail anyway let alone showing up to hug a 13-year-old fucking girl and wanting to hang out and watch football and kiss her and be inside her. I know, we just came to hang out. You know, and I brought... what, get a hug? And watch football. Watch football? Yep. Who's playing tonight? Steelers and the Ravens. That's the only good answer he ever gave. He had prepared for that in case someone had asked.
he was ready with that answer. In the uh, wiki thing, they'd say like it's a snappy answer. It's not a snappy answer. It's a prepared answer. I had no intentions with nothing. No intentions? Of- no. Nope. You had no intentions. Then why the fuck did you say you were going to kiss her and you couldn't wait to be inside her? Yeah, no. So what do you do at UPS? I was a package handler. Package handler. You're not there anymore? No. What do you do now? Um, nothing. Besides go online and try to talk to young girls? I don't try to talk to. You don't try to. You t- you, you spoke to two. Two underage girls. So, um, it's just as well you stop that sentence. I mean, I just try to find a girl to talk to. Apparently you have a preference for underage girls. And hang out, whatever. And how many times have you done this with somebody who's 13, 14 years old? Never. Never talked to another girl who said she was 13? No. Well, who's Brittany? Who's Brittany? He looks like me when I pretend not to have known I made a mistake. I'm like, oh, I had no idea. (gasps) That's a shock to me. (laughs) That was the other girl you were talking to. What was this? (laughs) Delayed silence is to be like... Let me try and think out of how to get around this. So you say to Bailey, on Whisper, that you're 30, how old are you? She says 13. This thing, he knew she was 13. Jason starts looking around and he's jutting his chin out. I don't have a full understanding of body language movement and how that feeds. I just know this is a very like, I want to say this is like a feeling attacked. They're trying to appear bigger than they are in like defense. You say, you're not 13 in that pic? Yes, I'll be 14 next month. The fact that he comments on the picture, oh, it's so gross. Like he's recognizing that he's finding a 13 year old attractive. That's pretty clear. You remember that, right? Mm-hmm. You do. This does not look very good for you, John. See the sweat on his forehead and he's clenching his jaw as well, possibly. The chat. The appearance, the dark chocolate. Did you bring condoms with no. you? So you were going to have unprotected sex then with a 13 year old. I don't know what's worse. Because they're both bad, but I guess unprotected is worse because obviously that opens up to the fact that she could get pregnant. And now it's illegal like in a certain number of states to have an abortion. It's kind of like, would you rather be stabbed or shot? Otherwise something bad is going to happen to you, you know? But you see how this looks. Absolutely. He just doesn't care how it looks. I mean... Why don't you just tell me what you were really up to? Just to hang out, get to know her. Why are you trying to get to know a 13-year-old fucking kid? You know? Get to know her. Yeah. And if you were the parent of a 13-year-old girl, would you be comfortable with that? Fuck no. I don't have kids. I don't want kids. But oh my god. You don't want to put me in a room with a predator. I would let out every little bit of fucking rage I have. I mean, it depends how the- I mean, if I'm a good person? What kind of answer is that? It depends if I'm a good person. No, 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 no. Anyone who is over the age of fucking 18 years up, well, not even 18, like, talking to a 13-year-old, doesn't matter if they're a good person, they are preying and grooming a 13-year-old to fucking have sex with them. There's nothing good person about that. I actually can't believe you just said that. That's worse than some of the stuff that Jeff said. You know, like, yeah, but typically good people don't meet strangers online, talk about sex, and then go over to visit, and within three minutes, ask for a hug. (laughs) Sorry, I probably won't even be able to include this because the amount of fucking copyright blockers I got last time, but that moment where he's, like, trying to think, I can imagine, you know that monkey with the symbols? It's just like, there's just nothing going on in there. He's probably genuinely racing around trying to figure out a way out of this. But all I can picture is from Fallout 4. Just clapping. I mean, all they did was just ask for, you know, a hello hug. That was it. With a 13-year-old girl. With a 13-year-old girl you just talked about having sex with. It's not just a hello hug. It's pushing intimacy on someone who is underage. And again, if you're a fucking relative or something and you want a hug from your 13-year-old niece or something, that's fine. As long as you're not being inappropriate, that's fine. But asking for a hug, someone you've just said you want, can't wait to be inside of and to kiss, is context that is necessary. Walk right in the house. Well, she told me to come in. 
So that makes it okay. A 13 year old telling you to come in the house. Again, it's this like victim portrayal mentality. This is like entrapment. They thought I was just doing as I was told. I was being a nice guy. You're not being a nice guy. You're preying on a fucking 13 year old. I know I've said a lot of this before, but it bears saying again. Does that make it right? Knowing that she's 13. Oh, I would never, I wouldn't have never just walked in. He just doesn't get it. He doesn't get the fact he went into a 13 year old's house where he knew the parents weren't there and he wanted to do sinister things to start. He doesn't get it. He does not fucking get it. Why would I not be surprised if he's one of these people that keeps saying like maps are people too? You don't know what maps are. Minor attracted persons. They wanted to be included into the LGBTQIA plus community. And um, I swear to Christ, where do they get the audacity? You know, without talking to her, you know, without getting her okay. You should be getting the parents okay. Because do you really think the parents would be okay for you as a 40 year old fucking man? 30, on his thing. Spend time with their 13 year old daughter? Because I doubt it. Also, this guy has a fucking kid. I just remembered that. He has a son, I think? I hope he never, ever, ever sees that son. Now, you talked about spending the night here tonight. Spending the night with a 13 year old. I know I said this before, but I can't imagine saying that or doing that at 33. Like someone 20, like I'm just thinking even of myself when I was 13. Even me as a 33 year old spending time with the 13 year old me from 20 years ago. It screams creepy. I don't care if it's a man or a woman, like it just screams fucking creepy. Well, uh, yes or no? It depended. It shouldn't depend. It shouldn't depend. Why would you want to spend time overnight with a 13 year old? You know, like, if she had to wake up in the morning, you know, like, if I was going to stay did here. she have to go to school? She said she didn't have to go to school. Today. Is that not a red flag? This person doesn't have school, so I can stay over. You're not 15, 16, 17. You're 40. How do you even normalize that? Okay. I mean, tomorrow. So you could just spend the night and hang out with a 13 year old girl. That's cool. Well, I mean, I didn't plan on it. I mean, you clearly did from all your text messages. You talked about it? I mean, I was gonna leave after the football game. Says you know you've been caught. Unless you spent the night. No, I didn't plan on spending the night. Yeah. Sounds like you were gonna have a special little night with your 13 year old date. 13 year old date, I just, it's, I can't get over how creepy that is. Having a date with a 13 year old. I mean, all I was doing was just coming here to watch the game. Look how much he's sweating. Oh my god! You tried to solicit a 13 year old girl online using graphic sexual language. And that language can land you in prison, let alone you turning up. So, congratulations. Again, I'm glad he wasn't actually talking to a 13 year old. Can you imagine if he turned off a 13 year old's house? <sighs> what do you think should happen to you? Sorry, just what, let's just wipe away all the obvious sweat because I'm so fucking nervous I just got caught. Sir, I'm not, I'm not like that, I'm a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy. He wanted to spend an intimate night with a 13 year old to be inside her and to kiss her and to touch her. But he thinks he's not a bad guy. What the fuck does he think a bad guy is? The amount of trauma that somebody has to go through to get over or to move past that trauma of being raped. And he was going to do that to a 13 year old, but he thinks he's not a bad guy. Tell her I would love to be the first guy to make you blank. <sighs> but he's not a bad guy, right? He wants to be the first person that makes this girl come. At 13. But he's not a bad guy, right? Jesus. If you wanted me to, and I wanted to, feel me inside you, baby. Has that line ever worked for you before? With a 13 year old? No. Then why do you do that now? There is no... I mean... Well, what am I to make of this? I, there was no intentions made by it. What's the intention then? What is the intention if it's not to have sex? If you're talking about being the first person to make them come, being inside them, kissing them, what other intention is there? That shows clear intent. Remember, this is the same guy who made that creepy phone call. Hey, baby. <gasps> Stop it! Bragging about his mad party skills. Because he knows a 13 year old's gonna be <laughs> so impressed. And then you talk about that you and a bunch of people snuck into 
a mansion and partied for days. Um, that was a while ago. How long ago? Maybe eight, nine years ago. So when you were actually there. How does this look? How does it look? John, you tell me, how does it look? If you were me, what would you think? That I honestly made a mistake. Made a mistake twice with two different underage people saying that you wanted to fuck them. That's a mistake. It's pretty intentional. You made a mistake. Well, that's true. And how would you define that mistake? Not to talk to girls like you know, online. <laughs> you think this is to stop you talking to girls online? I just... I have no words. Or try to come over and have sex with them. I wasn't trying to come over and have sex with them. Then why did you say what you said? John, do you want me to read it again? No, please don't. I can't take it anymore. It was enough with that fucking jump scare, hey baby. I can't. I can't. What do you mean by that? that? Sounds like sex to me. I was just playing with her scene. Just playing with her. Just playing with a 13 year old. Just sexting a 13 year old. It's just such normalization language for his behavior. I'm not playing with her, but, you know, it just seemed like where she was. You're like. What? Why are you trying to understand? if a 13 year old is willing to have sex with you. That's what he's saying. Why are you trying to understand that? Why are you trying to put feelers out there to find out if a 13 year old's willing to have sex with you? Like, what? She was 13. I mean, I'd never had sex with her. I mean, the backtracking. I mean, I didn't plan on coming here to have well, sex with her. Tonight, because I walked in. And I didn't plan on it. You didn't plan on it? Come on, you talked about it. I feel like we're going around in circles. Just send him to go get arrested, Chris, please. It's like talking to a brick wall. Like, that wasn't my intentions. I talked to her all day today about just coming over, watching the game, and just hanging out. You talked about salads. About, like, food and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, while we're watching the game. This is a whole different kind of food here that you're talking about. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, was he talking about eating pussy or something? Oh, God. I actually was gonna retch. So what do you think should happen to you, John? You're in a bit of a fix here. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Apologize to her. Well, there's something you need to know, and that is I'm Chris Hansen. I always love the build up. And this is an investigation called Hansen versus Predator. The look on Dupay's face says it all. He's like, oh fuck. <laughs> oh, this is so much worse. If you wanna leave, you should go out that door right there. He knows what happens next. He like runs out. Our dash cam shows him being hauled off to police headquarters where he's booked. I don't understand why they all try and stop having their face on camera. The whole interview, you were on camera. You being in the house, you were on camera. Which, by the way, there's this whole thing about um, the fact that they don't give their consent. They're committing like a fucking crime, therefore it doesn't matter. Fingerprinted and poses for a mugshot. I wonder what he was thinking in that mug shot. Obviously, that's a very visceral reaction he's having. So I, I wonder what he was thinking. If it was like, oh, fuck, I'm going to get killed in prison. Or, oh, my God, I really messed up. Because obviously it's going to be about him. It's not going to be about her. She's a little girl. Do you see that in the pictures? Do you see she's a little girl? He was attracted to that little girl. It's so weird. Look, if she wanted to have sex tonight, would you have? No. I swear on my little boy, I wasn't gonna have sex with her. He, like, why does he have kids? Why does he have kids? Why do predators feel the need to have kids? Except to, like, prey on more? Oh, it just gives them more opportunities. It's so creepy. Watch closely and you'll see a classic case of good cop, bad cop in action. Good cop, bad cop isn't actually an interrogation technique. It's called something else, and I don't remember what it was, because there's a channel, JCS Criminology or something, that has actual police investigations, and he goes through all of the tactics. Criminal psychology, which I might go through a few of these at some point. If you guys are interested, there are react to... Obviously, I'd have to cut it down quite a lot, because there's a... I mean, his videos are very 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 in depth if you haven't watched them before and you're interested in uh true crime i'll link his channel below it's really really good so you were lying in the text messages huh were you lying to her in the text messages then i wasn't gonna have sex but i don't even know why it's like because you're disgusting plain and simple he said them in the text and that evidence was so overwhelming he pleaded guilty to three felony counts 
Unlike Jeff Sokol who tried to fucking plead not guilty. I was in the other room watching the monitor. And we see this from time to time. The, the potential predator comes in, almost swoops in on the decoy. And it, it never fails to creep me out. Same. It is unbelievably creepy. At his court appearance, other defendants were taunting him. Apparently, even the most hardened criminals think he crossed the line. That is one good thing about most criminals is most criminals don't like other criminals that prey on children hopefully i think as well like quite a few of them animals sometimes a lot of them even women i imagine it's not going to be easy for him in prison maybe an indication of what he can expect in prison fingers crossed sentence eight years suspended after serving three he also must register as a sex offender chris walking in and saying hey boo is probably the greatest thing i've ever seen Dude was proud as hell to pull those snacks out of the bag. I think there are actually young girls who don't get to be saved by sting operations. It's so sickening. Yeah, I 100% agree. Imagine being so creepy and vile that the decoy was about to break her character. Peas or datches? I swear I've seen you in my comment section before. If you ever feel bad about yourself, just be glad you're not one of these pedos. Funnily enough, I had a very depressive episode yesterday, so yeah. Never going to be one of those fucking pedos. I'm laughing so hard at the fact that the predator is sweating profusely while trying to explain himself. Okay, so let's have a look at what happened after. I was at the police station that he visited, the Sting home. Um, he said the girl looked like she was 17 in her profile, but told you she was 13. He claimed he initially didn't think the girl was 13 and that he hugged everyone he encountered. That's what he'll say. They urged you to pay to tell the truth. To pay asserted that he had single and lonely and he had hit it off with the young girl. Why? Stop using that as an excuse. Stop it. Stop it. Being single and lonely doesn't make you a fucking pedophile. I'm single. I can get lonely. Don't fucking go hitting up 13 year olds. Dupay was informed by a female investigator that it was disgusting and dangerous for a 40 year old man to be hanging around with a 13 year old child who was home alone. Just couldn't get that. Dupay claimed that he would have told the girl that they couldn't have sex, that you were there in general, means you were a danger. Why don't you understand that? Dupay admitted on bail for a prior offence as he continued to sob. Prior offence, does he mean another underage person? The judge had to stop the plea here. The people who were catcalling and making loose comments were being too loud and ordered some of them to leave. Uh, registered sex offender for 10 years. 10 years is too fucking short. He'll be 50. He can still be a predator. Even if you're 60, you can still be a fucking predator. So, incidents while in prison. In December 2016, while Dupay was still serving his sentence, a Maine police chief expressed her worry Connecticut State Trooper about Dupay's 33-year-old brother, Brandon Dupay, being under the influence because of his driving. And the trooper smelled marijuana coming from Brandon's vehicle. He asked for him to stop. Why do I care? Police were contacted after the officer reported Brandon's slow, laboured movement, slurred speech, and apparent disorientation. The officers reported that Brandon failed the criteria are performing a standard field sobriety test. Field sobriety tests are bollocks, by the way, because I saw a guy who was going to college or something and he had just dropped his friends off or something, I can't remember, but basically he was stone cold fucking sober. Field sobriety tests are literally there to try and trip you up. Just breathalyze people. According to reports, a police canine notified officers presence of drugs in their driver's car. The amount of marijuana found inside the car, according to authorities, was less than four ounces. Sent to a breath test while at the police station, he was charged with operating a motor vehicle while under the influence and possession of a controlled substance of less than four ounces of marijuana. To post his bond, he called his 31-year-old sister. How many of them are there? At 12.25am, he was freed after securing a $500 bond by a bondsman. Brandon's license was seized and the police informed both of the siblings that Brandon's driving privileges had been suspended. A little more an hour later, Brandon decided to take the wheel of a 20 Jesus Christ! And quickly swerved off the road, striking a tree by the siblings with print. Oh, and had to be mechanically extracted. It says both siblings. Does that mean Brandon and his sister, Lindsay? Oh, shit. That's really sad. Unfortunately, he must have had some sort of drinking problem or something to think it was a good idea an hour after getting out of prison while still possibly. I assume intoxicated or maybe he was just angry and driving erratically or something I don't know but to get into a car accident an hour after being released and having his license suspended Yeesh. how old was Lynn 31 33 and 31 Jesus it's nothing I hate to say it for I feel bad for his family Dupay was released from prison July 24 
2018, following his release from prison, Depay ended up homeless and was last seen at a homeless shelter in Connecticut. In October 2021, Depay was arrested once more for breaking terms of his probation relating to drug charge and sting charges. From October 2021 to June 2022, Depay remained in prison. Depay is now currently free on bail and was back to court September 2022 for another hearing. He has since been residing in a shelter for recovering addicts. So, possibly still homeless. He's either in a shelter or homeless because I guess he's got no family to go to now that his siblings have died. I feel bad for his siblings, not for him. I mean, I lost a family member who died too young just recently. So, I feel bad that his siblings died. I don't feel bad that he's struggling because I still think he could be a danger. Sorry. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe if you like it. If you want to see some of those reactions to JCS, I'm going to get that right, <laughs> criminal psychology, let me know in a comment because I think that could be kind of interesting. I've seen people do body language analysis to those videos, like uh, Observe, I've seen, I'm pretty sure, do reactions to like Jody. But yeah, so if you want me to like cut that down to make it probably about an hour video reaction, let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye!